So what are my reading goals for this year? Very, very quickly, I have set some reading goals. Last year I set a goal of 70 books and exceeded it. I got, I read 84. This year, because I am so sure that we're gonna be out socializing and living a normal life, that I'm gonna set myself a goal of 75 books, which I think is very high considering in a normal year where we're all out and doing things and having lives, I read about 50 to 60. So that's still very high, even though it's only five more than this year and will probably be less reading than I've done in 2020 but I'm happy with it. My next goal is I want to read more books by authors of colour and I want to read more books that are set in countries that are not in the US, uh, not in Europe or the US. So when I looked at my reading this year, I examined it, only 10% of the books I read were by authors of colour, which I think is really bad. So I want to um, seek out more authors of colour and I want to when I was younger, I loved reading books set in other countries and other cultures. It really expanded my horizons and I'm looking forward to seeking out more work that does that. So that's one. Uh, I'm going to read more manga because manga is so popular with primary school children and it's something I need to know more about. Also, it ticks the other box for reading more books by authors from other countries or set in other countries. So that's a two for one. And I want to finish the Discworld series, which I'm gonna write a blog post on. I've got a lot of emotional attachment to Terry Pratchett's Discworld, Sir Terry Pratchett, who died five years ago, um, nearly six years ago. It'll be six years in March, I think. And I have put off finishing the Discworld series, which I started when I was about 13, mainly because I don't want there to be no more Discworld that I haven't read. And um, I'm gonna find it very emotional. So. I'm going to do that this year. It's got to be done. It's time, it's time to do that. And the other thing I want to finish off is the Jane Austen's last, well, the two of her, two of her six novels. She's written six complete novels in her lifetime and I've only read four of them. So the two I haven't read are Northanger Abbey and Mansfield Park, which I tried to read once, couldn't get through, but I am an older, more mature reader now and I find her work more enjoyable the older I get so I'm really hoping that I enjoy Mansfield Park but much like my top tips and my rules if I don't enjoy it I'm not gonna you know push myself to though I don't think I can call myself a true Janeite you know the Jane Austen fan if I haven't read all of her novels so fingers crossed um the other thing I want to do is there are certain authors I want to read more of I would like to read um more Haruki Murakami who I've only read a couple of his books, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, which I really loved. Um, and I want to read some Kazuo Ishiguro, who wrote Remains of the Day. And I want to read Never Let Me Go and uh, Remains of the Day. Um, there's a few of his books I'd like to try and read. He's supposed to be a beautiful writer. He won a, you know, the Nobel Prize for Literature. He's a British, J British Japanese author who uh, is probably one of our greatest living authors. So. He's got a new book coming out this year and I've never read any of them. So I really want to read some of his work. I'd like to read some Octavia Butler, who um, Octavia E. Butler, who is a black female sci-fi writer um, or speculative fiction. Uh, I've got The Parable of the Sower to read, so I'm really interested in that. Um, Elizabeth Gaskell, who is, a, I want to say Victorian, I might be wrong in the era, but I've, she's a 19th century, I'm sure, um, author and um, Ray Bradbury, classic sci-fi author, who is one of Neil Gaiman's favorite authors, and I love Neil Gaiman. So they're those, and I've got some other book-related goals. One is to take more notes on the things that I read, so I can remember them. Two is to catalog my collection of books. This is just a small part of it. My partner would love me to get rid of some of the books that I have. It's not gonna happen, but I do want to catalog the books that I own. And the other thing is to read physically where possible every day. So I do read every day, but sometimes that reading is just listening to the audiobook, which I know counts as real reading, but I am faster when I read physically, either on an e-reader or a book. So I want to read physically every day. And those are my reading goals. If you found uh, you'd like to set some reading goals, I'd love to hear about it. And if you've got any recommendations for manga particularly, please do let me know. I like manga, I really wanna read some manga that's suitable for middle grade, for children under the age of 12, um, for primary school children, because I'm a primary school teacher, so I want to be able to recommend it to primary age children. And I know it's not all suitable um, for that age group, but yeah, any recommendations, stick them in the comments. 
say hello, click like, subscribe, come and visit me on social media, come and see my website spreadbookjoy.com and um, I'll see you there hopefully soon. Bye!